Now, South Korea's military has been tarnished by a series of bullying scandals which have highlighted aspects of cruelty and humiliation that are unfortunately ingrained within barracks culture here in Korea. And with more and more cases emerging by the day, it seems, the Army's chief of staff on Wednesday vowed to crack down on mental and physical bullying, which he said was akin to treason. Our Kim Hyun bin reports. Investigations are underway into dozens of newly reported cases of sexual harassment and physical abuse at military barracks around the country. In the wake of a series of similar cases that have left the nation shaken, including the death of an army private who was beaten to death by his superiors in April, more cases are coming to light. Army Chief of Staff General Kim Yo Han likened violence in the barracks to treason and said operations to root it out would soon begin. The general says strong measures will be taken, including the dismantling of units that failed to improve their situations. According to an army official, a total of 758 cases were reported through military hotlines this month alone. That's an increase of 26 percent compared to the previous month. Three cases in the eastern border town of Hwacheon are among those under investigation. Suspects there allegedly sexually molested seven of their subordinates numerous times during April and May. In a different incident, an army corporal is suspected of beating two of his subordinates and stuffing flies into their mouths. Most of the suspects defended their actions, saying they did it for fun or as an expression of friendliness. To better prevent such incidents, the army has decided to strengthen military education and boost patrol and inspections in all units throughout the country. All able-bodied men are subject to two years of mandatory military service in South Korea. There are currently over 650,000 active servicemen in the country. Kim Hyun-bin. Arirang News.